guys, it's Lauren. I'm here today with another Keto Crate unboxing, Keto Crate. And if you didn't see my first video, Keto Crate is a monthly subscription service where um, you pay $29.99 and they send you a whole box full of ketogenic goodies. I'm thinking like, I didn't open this, I need scissors. <laughs> Um, they send you a whole box of ketogenic goodies. So I will leave a link in the description box below if you are interested in Keto Crate. It is my referral link. Uh, Keto Crate does not pay me. I paid for this box myself and I am just reviewing it. Hopefully because some of you, some of you also enjoy snacks. Again, uh, if you saw my first video, I wasn't sure if I thought $29.99 was worth the price. I kind of still agree with that. Not in the sense that I don't know if it's worth the price. It's just not at my price point right now. Um, uh, as I go over the items, I will put the price of that individual item, and then at the end I'll tell you how much the whole box was worth. And just kind of go for there. So yeah, judge for yourself. I enjoy snacks, and I think this is really good for people who are looking for ketogenic-friendly snacks, which, if you don't know, I'm sorry I'm talking about ketogenic, like, huh. Uh, low carb, high fat, not necessarily high protein, which it would be so cool if there was like a subscription box that was like low carb, high protein. I should create that. It'd be like the Chemistry Queen monthly subscription box with all the snacks that Lauren loves, which it would not fit in a box because I love a lot of things. Anyway, this these are low carb, um, high fat, sometimes high protein, sometimes not snacks. I think it's good for people who cannot find things in their area, like don't have many specialty stores or things like that, and it's just shipped right to you. So anyway, if it's something I can open and try, I'm going to try it in this video, like taste test it and give you a rating. Uh, so first thing out of the box is this card that explains everything. I haven't looked at it. I'm showing it to you. Don't spoil the fun. And you get this box and it's full of worms, worms of brown paper. Okay, yep, okay. So, the first item, which I have had, and they're okay, <laughs> I enjoy them. These are the Whisks Parmesan Cheese Crisps. You can buy these at Costco in a giant bag, which, again, I kind of prefer maybe like the smaller bag, because if I buy a giant bag, I'll probably eat more. So, if, in case you haven't had any of those kind of like baked cheese snacks, this is what it looks like. It's baked Parmesan cheese. That's pretty much it. So the stats for these are 15 crisps, 100 calories, 7 grams of fat, less than 1 gram of carb, and 9 grams of protein. You can make these yourself as well. I just bought a big tray of sliced cheese like Havarti and cheddar from Costco. Put that in the oven. You can make your own cheese crisps. These are expensive. They're tasty. You can hear how crunchy they are, which is why they're really great. It's kind of like having a chip. It's made of pure cheese. So if you like cheese, you will like these. If you like Parmesan cheese, you will like these. Let me know if you want to see me a video. Let me know if you would like to see a video of me making all different flavors of these. Because your girl gets tired of Parmesan. So good. Okay. I have. A, I can tell there's already going to be things in here that I can't try. That's okay. This is in bubble wrap. Maybe it's fancy or maybe it's in a glass bottle. We will see. I hope this is barbecue sauce, like sugar-free barbecue sauce. I can't find that in my grocery store. <sighs> I think it might be. I'll be excited. No! Um, no, but this is Nature's Hollow Sugar-Free Maple Flavored Syrup. First of all, my first qualm with this, it is not maple syrup. I guess it couldn't be because it's sugar-free, but it is maple flavored syrup. And I do prefer like pure maple syrup better than like the flavored kinds. Again, I think it's because it's sugar-free. It cannot be actual maple syrup. This is 50 calories for a quarter cup, 19 grams of carb, but 17 grams of those are sugar alcohols, which if you do the net carbs, I do not. That would be only two grams of net carbs for this. I recently stumbled across a recipe for like carrot cake protein pancakes from the World According to Egg Faces blog. I'll link the recipe down below. I'm going to try those and I'm going to put that on there and I'll let you guys know how it is. So next, okay, <laughs> what is this? Scout? We have Scout Backcountry 
raw pumpkin seeds jalapeno salsa flavor. And these are gluten-free, 10 grams of protein. Wow, that's a lot of protein. Um, and organic, vegan, bloody blah, buzzwords, you know. Um, I have never had these. I've had pumpkin seeds before. Can't say I'm a huge fan. Also, pepitas, if you're familiar with them in that term. Like, I was never the person who made, like, jack-o'-lanterns as a kid and then, like, baked to the pumpkin seeds afterwards and ate them. Like, that was not appealing to me. No. Uh, so these, for half of this whole package, which is two and a half ounces, is 190 calories, 70, 17 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. I would never eat half of this package in one sitting. The flavor's okay. Oh. Oh. It's a little spicy. It isn't bad. I'm not a huge fan of spicy stuff or salsa stuff. Like, I don't even dip my tortilla chips in salsa. I just eat the tortilla chips. <laughs> but these are not bad. It has a little bit of flavor. I wouldn't repurchase, but pretty tasty. I'm hungry. I shouldn't have done this box while I was hungry. These are okay. These are pretty good. If it came in a different flavor, I would definitely try. Because Tengri... Well... Realistically, this is not going to be 10 grams of protein for me because I can't eat half the package. Maybe a quarter pack. Still 5 grams of protein for... Then that would be 1 gram of carb. Pretty cool. Okay. What do... We, oh. Oh, I've gotten one of these before in another box that I had. This is the Adapt Coffee Shot and this is hazelnut flavor. This is 80 calories for one packet, zero carbs, zero protein. This is just like if you do the bulletproof coffee, which is like, you know, butter, coconut oil, all that stuff in your coffee, which is pretty big on the ketogenic diet. This is like something you can add and this has flavor. So this, the ingredients of this are just coconut oil, MCT oil, which if you didn't know is medium chain triglyceride oil. That could be wrong. I could have just made that up. You guys are never going to believe me as a chemist again. Um, less and butter. Yeah, butter, salt. That's steviol, which is fake sugar. I'm not going to use that. But there you go. If you're into the Bulletproof coffee. Oh, look what we have here. I know well, probably a lot of you have seen this product before. This is the Miracle Rice. Um, which is made of shirataki rice. This is zero calories, zero carbs, zero protein, zero everything. It's basically made from like, I don't know, unicorn farts? Like what the hell is this stuff? I could write the ingredients and find out. Purified water, cognac flour, and calcium hydroxide. I have never tried this. I've heard good things about it. Um, my friend Ray from VSG Squared on Instagram has made like stir fries and stuff with this that always look really good. I've heard that this stinks when you open the package, which I'm scared about. I am not a fan of like the very fishy, seaweedy, kind of very typical Japanese smell. I shouldn't say Japanese smell, but you know what I mean? Like that kind of food. So I'm scared to try this, but it's pretty cool because I would have never bought it otherwise. I will try it. I will. Okay, we've got a big stick of meat. This is called the Fatty. This is barbecue flavored hickory smoked meat stick. Um, so two ounces, which this is two ounces, is 200 calories, 14 grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein. Seven grams of carb too. So my question, my first question is what is in this? Because for two ounces of meat and only 17 grams of protein, for jerky, the, to me that's not that great. Like I can buy one of those Jack Link's like the actual like ones that look like steak, like the beefsteak ones, and like two ounces of that is 22 grams of protein. So just not sure about this. I will hopefully be able to open it quickly and try it. They never make these things easy, guys. Okay guys, sorry if the camera angle is different. My iPad stopped recording while I was opening this. So I was struggling to open it. I opened it. I've actually eaten it and eaten the rest of the stuff in the box. So we'll have to redo that. Again, this is the fatty stick. Let's try it. It's funny because the first time I recorded this, I was like, this is so delicious. And so I'm like really happy I get to take another bite. This is really good. This is actually really good. It has a great flavor. 
I love the barbecue flavor in it. So while it may not be the most protein packed piece of jerky I ever had, this is really tasty. If you see this somewhere, go ahead and pick it up because it is really good. Yum yum. Okay. And we only missed one item. This is the last item in my box today, my keto crate. This is Biltong seasoned dried beef. I can't remember if the first video that I did, I also had Biltong in. If it was, that was gross. I could not eat that. Even my boyfriend didn't want to eat it. It was awful. Like, we could not eat it. So, I'm hoping this is better because, you know, the stats on this are actually better than that meat stick. Like I was saying, this is one ounce, 80 calories, two and a half grams of fat, one gram of carb, 15 grams of protein. So, again, this whole stick, which is now missing two bites, <laughs> was only 12 grams of protein, which is two ounces. And for 15 grams of protein for one ounce, so two ounces of this would be 30 grams of protein. You can kind of see the difference, just to give you a comparison. This is, I believe, South African of a type of meat snack like it's a very regional thing you can see compared to like american jerky it's very uh wafer like con not consistency it's very wafer thin uh it's more wispy on the edge it's like just the ingredients of this are literally beef salt vinegar pepper coriander that is it we'll give this a shot hopefully it's better than the other one it's okay um this is the Bra, 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 a time, bra time, bra time, bram. This is edible. It's not that much better than the other biltong I got. I could probably eat this, whereas the other one I couldn't eat at all. I don't know what it is about biltong. I'm just not a huge fan. I could definitely bake, make better beef jerky myself. Which again, let me know if you want to see. I've got that dehydrator sitting in my kitchen. So, I would not buy this. I will probably never purchase Biltong if I see it out in the wild. <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> again, because of like the bad experiences I've had with it. It is just not tasty. Maybe coming from like an American palate, it's not salty enough for me. I'm not quite sure what it is. But, there you go. So, that was my keto crate here i'm gonna put the total price of everything that was in my box like that was the whole box total i haven't calculated it yet because obviously i just opened this right now was that worth it for you guys it was worth it for me it was really fun to open and eat for me this box was okay probably better than the first one i boxed was it worth 30 dollars nah, i'm still on the fence I think I'm used to a lot of subscription box, you get more for your money than what you actually pay, and this I think is a very small startup company, which is cool, like they're listening to their customers, they asked us like a survey the other week, and that's really cool. So I'm happy to support them. If you are interested in getting a keto crate, please check the description box down below. Remember, it is a monthly subscription service. If you purchase a box and you only want one box, you need to cancel or they will charge you every month. Keep that in mind, being totally transparent about that. Um, so yeah, let me know guys, let me know what you guys think, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and get some tasty snacks for yourself.